Just down here is one of our new information signs that we are experimenting with. Um, we'll uh, put these up. Um, it's the first one we've done, and it's just out on a on a test. But it looks really good. I mean, it's been out for quite a while now. Uh, I think a couple of months, and it seems to be uh, holding up. And the good thing about it, they are easy changeable if we want to. We can pop them open so easy. The other ones were such a fiddle. Um, and actually trying to keep the water out of them was the was the main thing. So yeah. Hmm. The main thing, sorry about that, I was distracted by a, a lorry driver shouting at a security guard. I don't know why, I don't really care why. But <laughs> right, let's go on. And I'll show you the um, state of the, the old boards um, that we, we were using. Um, these are these just here. Um, this is the state of these, look at them. I mean, they got fun guy on it. Barry Webb, if you're watching, what's this fun guy look? I'll get as close as I dare. There we go. Don't know what this is. Probably a slime, it looks like a slime mold, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. So yeah. Um, <laughs> Anybody knows? Leave a comment down below. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, whilst we're doing this bit here, time for a commercial. Please subscribe and like and leave a comment. Would be much appreciated. I answer all comments and uh, as I say, likes and subscribing help my channel grow uh, and be seen by more people. It's all to do with the um, the algorithms with the uh, YouTube and all that. Um, so yeah, right. Let's back to back to the reserve. End of commercial. Uh, into the horseshoe that we built. Um, and this is again, it's all been cleaned up and uh, stacked up wood for the little mammals and the fungi again. Some, uh, I think that's fungi on there, some sort, not too sure what. Uh, 
So yeah, we've cleaned this up. It was actually covered in stinging nettles and uh, they've been in and pulled them all out, or 99% of them got pulled out. And uh, we're waiting for these little trees to grow up and uh, see what happens from there. Trouble is the, the rabbits seem to like to dig um, as well, but you can't stop them, can you? So yeah, right, let's go to the double decker, shall we? Uh, and have a look out of there. Thought I felt a spot of rain then. So see very quickly moving on. <laughs> right, this it can be fun. Up, up these slippery steps. They're not slippery, but <laughs> Ooh, I made it. Just there we go. in here. Right, so what can we see into the sunlight? Uh, well we've cleared out here as well. So the work parties have been out here clearing back the stinging nettles which is uh, nice and the, the uh, dirty marks are on the window which I haven't opened. But if you look right out across here, where are we? Out here was the look back from uh, the tear hide uh, where they've cut all the willows out and stuff. So yeah. So you can see lovely views now. Um, right the way around. It's quite nice. Well it would be nice if we had some uh, ducks and things out here, you know, a nice um, bittern would be nice in the reeds, so. bearded tit, that's pushing it isn't it, um, I think I'd settle for a mallard at the moment <laughs> to show you, but we, there isn't any, there's one blooming moorhen diving about, is it moorhen? Coot, sorry. Um, so yeah, I can't see anything else. Terrible, isn't it? Right, let's move on to the rotunda hide, uh, where we might. Well, I think I can see a mallard, but it's a long, long way out on this camera. It's right over by the duck boxes. So yeah, right. Let's let's move on. And. Uh, Oh dear. This is the exciting bit down here. Oh, it's always better going downhill, isn't it? Oh, there we are, we're down. So, yeah. We've done some work along here, taken out some of the fences, trimmed back some of the hedges a bit, right, and bush up a bit if we can, as you can see. Um, we've uh, we always intended to do this to get rid of those terrible fences that keep blowing over, um, and uh, to have a natural screen with the things. We've removed one of the trees. To, uh, to bring the light in you know, into this area itself because it's very it's a very dark area with the amount of trees we have along here so we've opened that up and again it's given you more of the reserve that you can see I don't know quite know what's happening out there yet what they're going to do um, probably be planting something or what I don't know but um, as you can see yeah all those rotten fences are gone and we're relying on the the mound of earth that we put in when we dug. I'll wait for that to go. Right, that's better. Flight paths 
um, across the reserve are a lot lower than they used to be. Um, it's the flight paths out of Heathrow, um, they've changed them. Some come out this way, so light aircraft have to um, go down lower. And that means they're lower coming over the reserve. Now, what was I saying? Yes, this bank we put in purposely when we dug the um, lake out, we put this mud, mud bank in to um, cover the uh, the lake so we don't disturb stuff and we don't have to have the fence because these tr these bushes and trees will grow up here um, this way yeah it's it's opening up and it's opening up the ground to bring in stuff again we cut some branches off the trees that is just where we took the um, brash and all the old fencing and piled it up over there uh, nice for some nesting birds like that, don't they? Um, tree creepers, for one. Because uh, we used to have one nest down here. So they've got down to about here. And I uh, dare say they go a little bit oops, further today. I nearly went there, that was slippery. Um, we won't visit the sanctuary hide, it's a bit small. So we just push on a bit down here. Um, and as I say, we've done a lot more in here. Again, okay, took out some of these big ones got rid of that needed doing you know it's, it's gonna bring light into the area well, as you can see now with the sun shining I mean you know it's not a very bright day today but we've got a nice bit of sunshine in here and a bit of creaky wood so yeah it's uh it's opening up nice I don't know quite know what we're doing with this bit down here yet I think there'll always have to be a fence down here because we haven't put any um, growing bushes down here but um, I'm going very quiet in here and we shall go into the hide is there oh there's nobody in here okay so whoever was in here is gone that's okay oh dear now I will open this one up of course this is an easy one isn't it? It's an easy one-handed job. There we go. Oh, there we are. Right. So, here we are at the rotunda. And as you see, we've cut these swathes into the uh, undergrowth, um, the reeds and the grass. And uh, we've got these three avenues now that the snipe like to be in. Um, especially this left-hand one. Where is it? This one to here. Um, they like to be in there um, to uh, to uh, play about in the mud so yeah and uh, just round there follow it round the water rail has been seen out over here by the feeders um, at one point moment mostly coots out there but I don't think there's anything out the back let's scoot <laughs> across here and open up this hatch let's poke the camera out see what we can see there we go um, and we're not doing too much out the back of this one I think we're leaving it like that we did think about clearing to the left down a bit further but I, I think that's gone on hold um, at the moment it's a lot of work but yeah so no sign of the kingfisher this morning that I can see Stick the head around the corner up no, can't see anything so yeah so there we go there is the reserve so far we go back to the clubhouse and uh, Uh, look down there. Well, let's open this side one up and have a look at this one, shall we? Okay, there we are. It's the other side. Um, and uh, it's nothing. Oh, wait a minute. What's over there? I don't know, I can't see. Is it a 
mutant mallard, I think. Not too sure. Got a white front. It's a right fronted something or other. Yeah. So. Oh, it's, yeah, it's one of those. Mallards. But no kingfisher. I did see him very briefly on Monday when I was in. Um, did a flyby. But, again, they have been seen regular. If you like to sit and wait. Same with the snipe and the jack snipe. Um... I know at the moment if they've got any sense they're tucked up in the uh, in the undergrowth out of this cold wind. Um, so yeah. Is that a chat is? I hear. I don't know if the microphone picked it up. Uh, but yeah. Right. <laughs> let's um let's go back to the clubhouse and I'll see you back at the clubhouse. Right, so here we are. Back in the clubhouse in the wall, which is nice. Ooh, there's a nice woodpecker going up the tree there, look. Great spotted. Just about to attack the peanuts. Uh, so yeah, this is the view we've got. We did clear up a bit in front of here, cleared all the uh, stinging nettles off. So, um, or oh, stinging nettles, all the reeds off, I should say, and a few of the stinging nettles. We just had a general tidy up. Uh, we we move stuff about we're still feeding the birds even though we do have a slight rat problem but um, it's being addressed shall we say um, I'd leave it at that but uh, yeah so there you go right right there there's a look a look at the uh, reserve um, not a lot to see, uh, animal, bird-wise, but, um, a lot to see, uh, of the work we're carrying out, catching up on, um, and, uh, finally getting, uh, sorted. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this, and, uh, I suppose I'll be doing another one about springtime. Um, unless something really good happens, then I might uh, put another one up. But as it is at the moment, this is for the winter one. And uh, the next one it should be spring. Um, so hopefully we'll see you all then. And let's hope we see some of you at the reserve. Um, we have a steady trickle of members coming in. Um, but... Uh, not a, not a lot. I mean, you know, um, it is on the quieter side. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.